We are mixing some Schluter All Set today. We're installing Dietra over plywood subfloor. So we're going to use the All Set for that application because it'll stick to the plywood. We could use All Set everywhere. Um, I'm still a big fan of the unmodified mortar, so we use a lot of Schluter Set. It has the same mixing instructions that this does. This takes five and a half to six and a half quarts of water. So we've got six and a half quarts measured. We're gonna mix the whole bag so it'll be all 50 pounds. Uh, mix at a low speed, at less than 300 RPMs. And the biggest thing is we wanna mix at low speed for a full five minutes. And so we, we do follow the directions right there on the bag. We're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes slake. Then we'll mix again for three minutes and then we're gonna be good to go. So we'll get the water and powder in the bucket and we'll start our mixing. Proper mixing of our thin set mortar helps keep the mud predictable. So that's why we do it. It's every bucket we mix, we know we can expect to perform the exact same way as prior buckets have. So I would recommend following this procedure. We're getting about to the end of our five minutes. We have an alarm set, so it'll go off here in a couple seconds. And then we know we've mixed the mortar for a full five minutes. So there it is. Our five minute mix is up. Now we're gonna set our alarm again for a 10 minute slake time. And the mortar will just sit out here. Today's temperature is in the upper 70s. Um, so it's a really good temp to be outside mixing. Keeps the mess out of the house. I am not going to keep a continuous video for the next 10 minutes. So we'll pick the video up again here just a few seconds before the slake ends. And we'll finish mixing the bucket then. So talk to you soon. So we're getting close to being ready to uh, mix again. I want to make sure to point out real quick that a 10 minute slake does not mean we don't work for 10 minutes. We're just sitting here watching the, the clock. If you wait to mix mud till you need to mix mud, you're doing it wrong. We mix mud. Um, we know when we need it. So we'll still have 10 minutes worth of work to be do, uh, to do while we're waiting on the, the mud to slake. So oftentimes we're getting tools out. We're getting things like that out. Um, so I'm going to go back to time lapse while we slake. Just a friendly reminder to hit that subscribe button. Now's a good time to do it. Our three minute remix is about up. So again, we have the uh, timer set. It'll go off here in a couple seconds. And once that goes off, we mix it for the full five minutes. We let it slake for 10. We mix it again for three. Uh, it's important to follow the directions on mixing. Manufacturers go to a lot of time and effort to research their product. We know how it works. It's not a guessing game. We want to do it the way they tell us to. So anyway, uh, that part's done. We'll clean our paddle up here. We do want to use a uh, low speed mix while we're mixing. So we keep it as low as this mixer will go, which is less than 300 RPM. And then we just spin it off in some clean water to keep the paddle clean. And so anyway, that's how we mix our thin set. So stay tuned for more how-to videos.